when do you kind of decide like, hey, this is something that we need to stick with and get really good at versus like identifying when it's it is a problem. Maybe it isn't the best direction for us to go, because I think, you know, like I, I try to there's a lot of things I've been doing over and over and over again for years and they get progressively better. And there's things that I absolutely love doing, but I've also, um, I kind of, sometimes when I feel like, Hey, this isn't working for me anymore. I'm okay to drop stuff. Like I'm okay to move on from it. So how do, how do people kind of identify the difference between those two things? So I think for me, I, and I spent a lot of time talking about this starting friction is a huge thing. Um, you know, when you are starting something new, you're literally rebuilding the pathways and creating more connections in the way that you now need to think. And it's so funny that you say that because like right now my kid's school is changing their math curriculum. Right, right. And they just changed their math curriculum. Like I've got a seven-year-old and they had just changed the math curriculum when my older one was approximately the same grade. So probably about six years ago. And I think that there is this fine line of taking data and recognizing when something isn't working mm -hmm. and also recognizing that at the beginning, you're not going to be that great at it. I often use the example of podcasting because I think podcasting is such a great example that people can really understand even if they're not podcasters. Um, I am not a podcaster. I just like going right. on people's po other people's podcasts. But like if you're a podcaster, you know, you have to learn how to audio edit. You have to learn how to market. You have to learn how to ask insightful, interesting questions to keep both the person you're interviewing engaged as well as the audience. There's a lot of different skills involved. Well, if you look up how many podcasts the average podcast has, it's seven. Because wow. most people hit two, three, four and stop because they weren't aware of how much work it was going to be. But that work gets so much easier. Audio editing gets easier the more you do it. So I think that when you are at the beginning of a path, you have to recognize it's going to be a struggle. Like none of it's going to be rote. It's going to be hard. And you really have had to think through that this hardness was, is going to be worth it for these reasons. But then you also have to be looking for, is the hardness getting easier? Like is, and is there something wrong in my approach? Because I mean, with everything, you know, I had like, we've, the approach may or may not work for you. Like a lot of times we are, we like to throw the kitchen sink at it. Like I can do everything. And then you vastly under overestimate how much time you have. And so really focusing on your strengths to me is the best way to evaluate whether or not something is working. Like, is this using my strengths? Right. Is this using my core competencies? Am I seeing a trajectory where this will become easier to implement. This will become what I need it slash want it slash hope for it to be.